Hi yeah, and thank you so much for coming back. If you come back, all hello if you're a new first timer. I just want to say a massive thank you to all the positive comments. I can't believe people commented, but um, that just so it was just tremendous. I was really overwhelmed that people watched it and people took the time to make a comment. And what I must do is this is number two of Friday Sews. I want to thank Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room, who was the brainchild behind all of this. She started um, Friday Sews about, I would say, about 18 months ago. And what a community she has created. There are so many of us. And all you have to do is put hashtag Friday Sews into YouTube and you'll see so many people. She's brought so many people together. Thank you so much, Jen. You're an inspiration to us all. So what did I get round to making last week? Well, I made the black linen jersey that I talked about. I'm really pleased with it, actually. I am going to insert a photo and I think I've cracked it. So, so this was, I made um, view B with the cuff sleeves, but I didn't do the pocket. I've done the pocket before and it just looks a bit naff. Um, Really pleased. Such, this is such a good pattern. If you're a beginner and you want to do a simple t-shirt, this is the one to choose because it doesn't have sleeves. And you don't even have to hem the sleeve. It's just that you can just add the cuff and that's super simple to do. So that's brilliant. Really pleased with that black t-shirt. It's just achieved just what I wanted. In the photo, if anyone's interested, I'm wearing a pair of Berda trousers and this Berda 6534. Now, I've made them in cropped, but I've never made them long, actually, I've only ever made them in cropped. Um, it's an amazing jeans pattern. I, I wouldn't make a proper pair of jeans out of it, but it is really good, and I've done it a few times now, and it's fairly simple, seems to fit me. Instructions are okay. The only thing with birder patterns is, I don't know if anybody else finds the same thing, but the writing is super tiny, and I can't read it without using my magnifying glass. And my reading glasses, so double, I need double. But super good pattern if anybody wants to have a go at making some good jeans or shorts. So I did that, so I was really happy with that. Uh, the other thing I did, I was made the top 8052. I made sort of A-ish, B-ish version, this one here. I'm not a massive V-neck fan, but this doesn't seem too bad, and it certainly doesn't come down very low. Um, as you can see in the photo, it is such a generous sized pattern. I made an extra small and I am not an extra small. It, I even had to take four inches off the bottom. I've made this before, I don't remember doing it, but hmm. so I took four inches off the bottom. It was almost a dress. In fact, I think someone suggested it to me, but you could length it by four inches and you'd have a pretty decent dress because it's such a nice shape. So that, that's the only thing I say, it's very generously sized. Um, I'm normally about a size 10, but pff, no, it, it is quite big. It's okay in the photo. Um, oh, I don't know whether it needs a tie. Sometimes if I make a top too big, I just add, open up the seams a little bit and then add a little tie and it brings it in. Actually with that, in that photo, I was wearing the same Berda trousers. That I made them into shorts this time. I did roll up the hem at the knees, not a massive fan of that, but I really like my white shorts. Now, the linen dress. I settled on making New Look 6619. Uh, I've made this one before again. I kind of copied that with a whole stripe thing going on, that's vertical, uh, no, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Um, I've nearly finished it, I'll put a photo in. All I have to do is put one more bit of binding around the other sleeve and put a button on the top. And that's all I have to do with it, but I didn't manage to finish it in time. And the reason I didn't manage to finish it in time was because I've spent so much time researching how to put photos in videos, YouTubes. So I've done that, but I will show you that. But it did bring to mind a question for people. It's got a button on the back, button closure. Now, has anybody out there got my length hair that have the same problem that I do, is that somehow my hair wraps around that button and after an hour, you kind of have to prise your hair out of it. Am I putting the button? Is it too big? Is it just catching? If anybody else has the same problem, please let me know and also, 
how can I overcome it? Or is it just me? Is it just me? And oh, I don't know. So, I, of course, the dress, I didn't like the dress. I skipped it. Um, I'm just going to wear a slip. I'm going to wear an old lady slip because I think if I was on holiday, I wouldn't worry too much. Um, definitely no dark coloured underwear underneath it, but out and about I'd wear a slip. I think I'll get a lot of wear from it actually, so I'm quite pleased with that. But there we go. Sorry, Jen. From the internet. I didn't like it. Sorry. Naughty. Now, um, I say I don't really like Birda, but I actually ended up buying two new Birda patterns this week because I saw there was on some website that they had some new issue ones. So I had a quick look and I came across this one was Birda 6004. Now, I actually I thought this could be such a good holiday dress. Um, I think my daughter might like it actually as well. So it's a nice, easy just It just mm, says easy, but you've got to be a bit careful with Birda. So it's got pockets, jersey. It is elasticated around the waist. They have got a tie, but it is actually elasticated. Maybe it's elasticated on that one and a tie on that one. I do like this, but the length, oh, something about that photo doesn't make it look particularly attractive to me. But I definitely want to go of making that. I think it'd just be a perfect slip on holiday dress. Maybe not as long as that. Maybe chop it off a little bit. But I thought that was quite a, a good buy. The second pattern I picked up was actually Birda 6023. Now, I think my daughter will like this one. She likes if there's... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Sort of ruching under here. She she likes that quite a bit, and, and the drop over the top of the jeans. The only thing she wouldn't like is the V neck looks quite deep on that. So yeah, I think you'd have to raise that up a bit. It's quite nice in the dress. I don't know why it's long sleeved. I think it could be better short sleeved. Uh, does that say easy? It does. It says well, two black dots. Easy. I'm not so sure. It's got a lot of gathering. It's got some buttons. We shall see, but maybe I'll keep that for autumn, actually make it for her in autumn. It also doesn't look too good with those brown leathery trousers, but I'm sure I'm sure it could look a bit better if you maybe lengthened it a little bit. So there's the two buttons, two bird of patterns that I bought. So I haven't bought patterns for a long time. I subscribe to uh, Sew Magazine, I think it is, and you get two patterns every month or at least two and I it ends up being quite a lot of duplicates of patterns which is actually quite um, beneficial for me because my daughter like although she's not the same size as me she very often likes the same style of things so if I have something and then she says oh I like that mum then I can I can make it for her as well because I've got the pattern as well but that's probably why I've accumulated so many patterns so um life a little teeny bit of life this week i know this is very sad but i was potting up my plants putting the geraniums and things i don't do much gardening i'm not a gardener but once a year about this time of year i will put some geraniums in pots um so that's what i did um but i came to one pot and I hadn't used it for years actually, but I had a few spare plants, so I thought, okay, I'll, I'll put them in there. I moved a few things aside and the whole soil started moving. So I was a little bit freaked out. And then I sort of moved the soil a bit more. I saw two eyes and it was a toad. Now I'm sure loads of you know that what this is what toads do, but I had no idea and I was quite shocked. He didn't move, so I quickly covered him over again. Um, when my grandson came round, I showed him my five-year-old grandson. He loved it. It was super cool. But I thought, right, okay, I need to research this. And I'm sure everybody else knows. I didn't know. Maybe I should have listened in biology at school a bit more. But toads hibernate, and um, very often in flower pots. So I'm pleased to say I don't think I disturbed him because he's still. I put some soil back on him, and he's still asleep. So. I'm really glad about that but I had no idea toads could live in flower pots so that's a teeny bit of life sorry there's nothing to do with sewing next week is actually my birthday and I my husband wanted to know what I wanted like you all we all do we just want sewing stuff 
um, but they can't buy us fabric, they can't buy us patterns. But one thing I've had, I my mannequin I say is about 10 years old, if more than that. But I was a little bit smaller when I bought it, so I think I bought this super small one. So now the poor girl is, is you know how you have the knobs, they're out more or less as much as they can be, meaning big gaps like this. And it was a very cheap one and it falls off. Every time I try and raise it up, the whole thing falls apart, the legs fall off. So I asked my husband if he could please replace my mannequin. And I know he has because it's in a box in his office waiting for me. So that'd be great. Really looking forward to unboxing the new mannequin. But what do I do with the old one? she has been with me for so long we've been through so many times together we've been through happy times we've been through sad things when things haven't fitted and i've had to squeeze them over the top of her so what do i do do i keep her do does some of you have two mannequins um i don't know or is, i mean i work in such a tiny little space in my tiny little sewing room it's very cluttered it's my daughter's old bedroom and I still have a double bed right in the middle of this room, which is good because I can plan everything. I don't cut out on it because I can't get all the way around it. But it's a bit of a dumping ground. But yeah, do I keep two? I'm not sure. Give me your give me your thoughts on that, please. The other exciting thing is I live in an area of the UK which is very short on fabric shops. We have a lot of fabric shops that do uh, quilting cottons. Um, even our big store, Hobbycraft, tends to focus on the crafts now. Very, They don't even do much quilt and cotton. They do a lot of fat quarters. Um, but So we are a little bit starved, which has certainly meant over lockdown that we've just been ordering some stuff from all these websites. And they're great and they try and give you as much description as they can, but it's linen it's always linen that I fail on I always get the wrong weight I've even got the wrong weight of denim I should do more research really and uh, jersey that's another one it comes too light or again I should learn to read the descriptions better anyway there was a fabric shop in my area that shut down uh, about two years ago when Covid hit really and they never reopened they moved premises and they are and a warehouse um, I think nearby and every now and again they have an open day and they are having one on Saturday so I managed, I managed to get a slot and I'm gonna go down there um, it's my sewing box anyway um, if you want to look them up um, but it's I think it's a mother and a daughter enterprise but very excited. My daughter's going to come with me. My daughter doesn't sew, but she does love looking at patterns um, and fabric. And certainly I'm sure there'll be many things that she'll say, oh, mum, I like this. Can you make this for me? So we should see. I don't need any more fabric. I really don't. I've, I've run out of hangers to even, I hang up my fabric and I've run out of hangers to hang them. But I can order always. I can get some more hangers from Amazon, so it's not a problem. I can clear out another bit of cupboard. But anyway, so I can't miss that opportunity. They only open about twice a year, so I'm really looking forward to that. Sewing next week. What will I do next week? I probably won't get much sewing done because it's my birthday and my parents are coming over. But my daughter recently bought a dress in a supermarket and we loved the fabric. It was, it's a lovely... I'll put some photos in there for you to see of this this dress on her but it's a lovely fabric there is no way I think it cost something like £12 there's no way I could buy this amount of fabric for £12 I think we basically got it too big but it needs tweaking and rather than take it back it certainly needs tweaking it just, as you can see in the photos it just kind of hangs on it <laughs> doesn't do anything for her whatsoever um, what we think we might do, the waist seems to be too big, I might put some elastic around the waist, put some casing elastic to bring it in so she can wake it up a little bit. <clears throat> we talked about removing one of the ruffles on the bottom, I think that make it too short. If I 
take it up a bit? Will it make it look odd? So the fact you've got one thick one, one thin one. I don't know. So that needs tweaking. Also, I don't like the sleeves. They're, what do you call them? Dolman sleeve boats? Back wing sleeves. I don't know. I've never done it before, but I want to try and take it up and make it into a normal sleeve. Um, she also did request that I make them shorter. I think if I make them shorter, then it would create a kind of, um, oh, you know, floaty effect. So that's my project. It's a lot of fabric for that money. So at least the bases are done. At least the gathering's done because I really don't like gathering. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got to make what I call one of my boring things to make. I've got to make a new pillowcase for my poor dog who it is just awful and he's chewed holes in it. It will literally take, I think, about half an hour fleece just to make this pillowcase. So I need to do that. I've needed to do that for weeks. And the last thing I want to try and do, this year I seem to be having a thing on making striped t-shirts. Last year was flowers, this week was striped. And I came across this, I can't remember where I bought it, but this beautiful jersey, cotton jersey fabric. I just, I just love it. So I'm going to churn out one of my all-time favourites, 6246 t-shirt. In fact, I think this is the, this is a 6246 t-shirt. They're super quick to make. I just want the basic striped t-shirt. But I have all, I've got a quite a bit here. I don't know what I ordered this time around, whether I ordered one, and I normally order a one metre. But whether I ordered one and a half, I'm not sure. But if I have enough, I want to try and get a sleeveless top out of it as well for when it really gets warm over here so I don't get t-shirt marks. But I'm not sure yet, but I really want to make that. So that's it from me this week. This is my number two video. Thank you so much if you've come back. I'm, I'm just really pleased to be here, really pleased to be chatting to people. Um, I would show you more of my sewing room, but it is an, it's a mess, if you could see what I'm looking at right now. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come back. And thank you once again for everybody for inspiring me to keep going. And I have subscribers, I couldn't believe it. So thank you everybody. Thank you Jen. Thank you Trish from Pinky's Farm for putting a shout out for me. My jaw literally dropped when she mentioned my name. So you're very kind. Thank you very much. And hopefully I'll see you again next week. Thank you. Bye. Hi, just before you go, I just thought I'd insert the pictures that I didn't manage to insert last week. So the two things that I made were the dungarees for my 18 month old grandson, which was from Simplicity 8894. I made that for you there. Easy make. Definitely recommend that one. And the other thing with those blue linen trousers, where I use New Look 6517, I made the crop version there. One thing I didn't say was I, I do slightly slim down the legs, because um, they can be a bit wide and I'm quite short, so I've got to be a bit careful. I do now have an Instagram account, so Carol. So if you want to come and have a look on there, that would be fantastic. I'll put all my makes up on there if I never manage to get them on my YouTube clips. So thanks again for watching. Bye bye for now.